God, please send fire. Elijah, the prophet of God, had bad news for King Ahab. It will not rain again for years, Elijah said. Not until I say so. Then God told Elijah to go and hide. King Ahab was angry enough to kill him. As the days and weeks went by, the grass died. The flowers withered and thirsty animals hunted for water. The people were thirsty and hungry. They were dirty too, because there had been no rain for three years. That's a long time to go without a bath. King Ahab was thirsty too. No water to brush his teeth. No water to wash his feet. Phew! Stinky poo! But God kept Elijah safe and provided him with water. One day God sent his prophet to meet King Ahab. The king hated Elijah. He blamed him for the drought, the years without rain. But King Ahab knew there would be no rain until Elijah said so. Clouds of dust rose from the thirsty ground as King Ahab stomped towards Elijah. Troublemaker, Ahab shouted. But Elijah replied, You and your family are the cause of Israel's trouble. You disobey God's commands and teach the people to pray to Baal. Now go, Elijah said with a wave of his arm. Send for all the people to meet me on Mount Carmel. Bring the prophets of Baal. We will find out whose God is real. So King Ahab called everyone to come to Mount Carmel. The prophets of Baal came. King Ahab came. Elijah met them there. And the people watched to see what would happen. Elijah spoke to the people. When will you make up your mind, he asked. If the Lord is God, worship him. But if Baal is God, follow him. Nobody spoke a word. We will have a contest, Elijah said. And here are the rules. First, the prophets of Baal will build an altar and place a sacrifice on it. But, Elijah said, no matches. You can't set fire to it. Instead, you must ask Baal to send fire to burn the sacrifice. Next, I will build an altar to the true and living God, Elijah told them. I will also prepare a sacrifice. But I will pray to the Lord God. The God who answers by fire, Elijah thundered. He is God. The people agreed. The contest sounded like a good way to find out which God was real. Does it sound like a good idea to you? Why? You go first, Elijah said to the false prophets. So they built an altar and prepared a sacrifice. Then they prayed to Baal to send fire. Nothing happened. The prophets prayed again, and again, and again. They called on Baal all morning long. O oh, Baal, they shouted, answer us. Still there was no answer. They danced and pranced like they had ants in their pants. They shouted. They prayed. But nothing happened. Nothing at all. At noon, Elijah began to tease them. Shout louder, he suggested. Maybe ba Baal is busy. Maybe he's on vacation. Maybe he's asleep. So the evil prophets shouted louder and louder. They danced faster and faster. They were frantic. The afternoon dragged on, and still there was no answer. Baal had no power to answer prayers. When evening came, Elijah called to the people. Come here. The people gathered around Elijah. They watched him lift twelve large stones and stack them together to make an altar. He dug a ditch around it. He placed wood and a sacrifice on the altar. Then Elijah told the people to pour four buckets of water on the sacrifice. Do it again, he said. So they did. Do it once more. And they did. The water splashed down the sides of the altar and filled the ditch. God's people wondered if a soggy sacrifice could burn. That would be a miracle. Something only God could do. Elijah was not worried. He had faith in God. 
He knew God's power. Elijah did not shout. He did not dance around. He just prayed to the God he loved. O Lord, Elijah prayed, let the people know that you are God and I am your servant. Answer me so these people will know that you are Lord, our God. Would God answer this kind of prayer? Zap! Fire fell from heaven and burned the sacrifice, and the wood, and the stones, and the dust. It even licked up the water in the ditch. The Lord, he is God, the people cried out. The Lord, he is God. Our song this morning is all about it not mattering whether we're big or we're small, whether we're old or we're young. We can all praise the Lord. <laughs> up high. Big is the rain cloud in the sky. Big is the elephant tramping by. Big, big things. Praise the Lord. Cloud in the sky, big as the elephant tramping by. 